Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, thank you so much for joining me uh, for today's episode. Uh, just a very small, quick and easy, smooth review video. So, as we look over here to this right-hand side, right, we've got our LJNs, uh, starting with the Bendies, and we move on to our Thumb Wrestlers. For the down, we got the IWA Wrestlers, bootleg version, and... Then we got the full lineup of WCW Just Toys, and I got a few Bendems in there, but you also see, I also have some of the rec more recent in comparison. So, uh, Dumb Wrestlers, for example, were an LJN release back in uh, 1985. But, over the years, other companies have also toyed, uh, toyed with the idea of creating their own version of Dumb Wrestlers. Most of them are like bootleg figures and whatnot, so... Nothing super clashy. Uh, you've seen the bootleg figures that I've done reviews on. Some of them are like generic alien looking figures. Some of them are generic knockoffs, Macho Man and uh, Hogan obviously being the big ones. But in the 1990s, uh, Jack's Pacific actually made uh, their own version of Dumb Wrestlers. And... Playability wise, they are not the same as the LJN. The LJN were actually fantastic act for playability purposes. But the one thing I do got to give credit to Jack Specific for, aesthetically, the figures look fantastic and they display so well over here. And so glad to get them in. I don't know a whole lot about this. I didn't do a whole lot of research. I didn't care to do some research on it because it's not, you know, an integral part of my collection. Uh, it's just something beautiful to add on these stands to go along with the rest of the lineup here which they all bleed in beautifully together I want to say like 1997 they came out with them but from Jack Pacific Thumb Wrestlers um, obviously you're always going to have two packs and this is going to feature Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels and I kind of talked about the Shawn Michaels before because when you look at over my shoulder the Shawn Michaels from from Mannix Toys, he kind of wears that same outfit with the blue, uh, the blue pants. Uh, the one thing I don't like about this particular card, as you will see, it does not show you any of the thumb wrestlers on here. So me, I like having card figures because I like to see what else is out there, right? And I like to also keep them and display them in order that they appear on the on the box. So that's another reason I enjoy card figures. And there's nothing. To the best of my knowledge, there's only four sets of these, and luckily, we're going to have a chance to look at all of them. So, I really like this. I mean, it looks more like today's Roman Reigns than it does, you know, The Undertaker. That, to me, is just, it's like the, uh, what do they call them? The Apostles, uh, the... Man, I, ha I just did a, re a review on one of his figures recently. Ministry of Darkness, I think it was called. I think that's more his getup during that time period. But nothing beats the old school Undertaker. Yeah, I'm going to probably knock out, knock over a lot of these. So, And then Shawn Michaels. Again, when you look at the arms, they the, the, the thumb wrestlers are much thicker. You know, uh, when you kind of feel the LJN thumb wrestlers, they're very rubbery like um, like calamari, right? When you eat calamari, it's got like a very rubbery taste to it. Now, these are very hardened figures. They're still they're still pl uh, still rubber, but they're very hard rubber. Like, you feel these legs? You could sit there and with the thumb wrestlers from LJN and kind of like squish them in your hands. You can't really do that with these. But aesthetically... Like I said, they look fantastic. I mean, they all do have the exact same play poles and everything, so you're not really losing anything on on that concept. Uh, here is Triple H and Mankind. So nothing really changes on the back or front of these cards other than the actual characters themselves. Uh, the one thing I will say... I do actually really like the look on Triple H's pants, but when you kind of look at this, 
if you didn't know any better, you would think that this was Shawn Michaels because... No, they're not, they're not hearts. Never mind. I thought they were like hearts on there, but they look more like triangles or something. And, of course, the Triple H <laughs> long ponytail. But this is a really solid look of this figure here. The Triple H Thumb Wrestler. I have to say that Mankind is probably my favorite among this group. Probably because he has the most detail to it. And I didn't even notice that. The little markings on the back of... I keep telling myself that when I do reviews, I need to be, you know, facing that way because, or have the screen facing that way because of the most light. But I didn't want to take all these thumb wrestlers down. I thought I was gonna be able to move them one at a time, but I'm knocking everything over, so that was a epic failure. <laughs> but that is the mankind figure. And then we've got Steve Austin going up against Owen Hart. I don't actually remember Owen Hart squaring up against Steve Austin, and so Steve Austin has probably been around since nine. Well, he's been in WWF, I think, versus Ringmaster, probably around 90, 95, I want to say. It could have been ninety four, could have been ninety six, but I'm gonna say ninety five. And I don't ever remember them, you know, facing off. Of course, I don't have the best memories of WWF at that time, so. And the cards on the background, you really don't need to see too much there. Yeah, I knocked down all my stands. <laughs> uh, this is, again, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I like the detail of the Texas star on his boots. I think he's from Austin, if I'm not mistaken, so that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. When we lived in Texas, my wife had all these stars that she had, you know, small. And then the, as you went up the stairs, the stars got bigger. Even though we're in Kentucky now, uh, I, I still like to have that displayed. I mean, we lived in Texas for 13 years, so, you know, that was home for a really long time. Do I miss Texas? I don't know. I, I like the fact that there wasn't state taxes in Texas. So that, that was really awesome. I mean, our house, like I said, it's 1,400 square feet. I mean, the house here is double square footage, so there's not even a question as to which house I enjoy better, but, you know, that was our house for a long time. It was cozy. Owen Hart. Ugh. And I, most importantly, I like the fact that I didn't have a mortgage after the second year because it was all paid off. Still working on that now. Owen Hart. Barely behind Mankind, in my opinion, for the second best uh, Jack Pacific Thumb Wrestler. Great details on the figure throughout. And, uh... Does it actually say King of the Ring on there? Can't really make that out. So it just says King. This writing's too small. But Owen Hart... Even though this is a Thumb Wrestler, and I don't give credit to Jax for a lot of things, because I think most of their figures are terrible... But I, I think they did the thumb wrestlers really well. And kind of look at this. This thumb wrestler made in 1997-ish. I'm, I'm guessing at the date. I, I really don't know. Um, but this thumb wrestler in the 90s is, has a better looking Owen Hart than the <laughs> custom made LJN th uh, Owen Hart that I have. Which is just bad. The last one we're looking at is going to feature... The British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith, and Ken Shamrock. Cool. And like I said, guys, if you're interested in picking these guys up, I mean, they are really, really inexpensive. I mean, you're probably looking at about three to seven dollars three to eight dollars i mean there are people out there that has the individual figures listed for like ten dollars and stuff i mean even eight dollars i think is too much you know someone has something listed for like six seven dollars you come in at like three three and a half dollar offer i think they would they would accept it but me personally i try to find a seller that has multiple figures because you're saving on shipping costs 
Otherwise, you're probably paying about four and a half to five and a half dollars on shipping alone. So you're still paying ten, eleven, twelve dollars depending on the cost that you paid to pick these up. And as I said, the box sets carded. I bought three of them on eBay. I think I I think they had less of like thirty dollars or thirty six dollars like that per per figure. And I just sent an offer of like seventeen dollars for each individual one, and they accepted all of them. So fifty one dollars. I I think they jumped on it because again, even the carded figures aren't worth that much. If we're talking LJN thumb wrestlers, absolutely. I mean, you're again, especially if, if the package is in good condition, card is great. Hundreds. Hundred to two hundred fifty dollars, depending on the tag teams, or the, you know who the opponents are. Like if it's Hogan versus Piper, for example. Yeah, you're probably looking at like a two hundred fifty dollar card, right? That was like Junkyard, or if it's like Hillbilly Jim versus Iron Sheik, you might be looking at about a hundred dollars or less. Probably get that on auction for like thirty bucks. But I think Ken Shamrock looks really nice. Got this whole nice little McDonald's look to it. <laughs> but that one looks pretty solid. I mean, like I said, guys, uh, I just wanted to get this out there because, to the best of my knowledge, this is complete. I tried looking them up. I haven't. I didn't see anything other than these four box sets. So I'm assuming they only came out with eight figures. And until I find out different, I'm going to assume that this is a complete collection. And... Uh, I wanted to get this on the books and for you guys to, to view and hopefully see something different that you probably wasn't familiar with in the past. Uh, that is it for now, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care, everybody.